Right now, there are more than 300,000 cases of the coronavirus here in Georgia, and today nearly 1,700 new cases were reported. The number of people getting tested continues to grow. So far, more than 3.2 million people have been tested across the state. Flu season looks a little different this year because of the coronavirus. Well, flu season usually peaks between December and February, but how do you know if the symptoms you're experiencing are the flu or the coronavirus? Joining us now is Dr. Caitlin Anderson with Internal Medicine Specialists of Atlanta. Dr. Anderson, good to talk to you. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. And let's start with the main differences between the symptoms for both COVID and the flu. Sure. So the flu and COVID have a lot of overlapping, overlapping symptoms. And for that reason, they can be really difficult to distinguish. Um, for one thing, what they share in common is, is fever, body aches, and chills. Um, sometimes you can have sore throat, cough, shortness of breath, chest tightness. So it can be very difficult to distinguish between the two viruses. What kind of uh, antiviral drugs can be used to treat the flu? Things like Tamiflu? Yeah, so Tamiflu or Oseltamivir is one that you might have heard of before. It's really important that if you think you have symptoms of the flu, that you see your healthcare provider early on because that antiviral medication can only be administered within 72 hours of your onset of symptoms. And antiviral medications such as Oseltamivir have been shown to reduce the severity of symptoms and the duration of flu. But really the only way to know uh, whether you have the flu or uh, COVID-19 is to get a test, right? That's correct. Because the symptoms overlap so much, the only way that we can know for sure is to test you for both flu and for COVID. Can you have both at the same time? It is possible. Um, and especially with the overlapping seasons, you know that flu season happens in the cold months um, and we're coming up on flu season right now. And obviously in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, they're both respiratory um, illnesses that are transmitted via droplets um, and are, are transmitted more easily in closed spaces. So obviously, as people go inside with the weather getting colder, that increases those risks. Uh, we here at CBS 46 got our flu shots yesterday. Uh, the company brought in Nurse Colleen, uh, who was here giving us our flu shots. Talk to us about who should get a flu shot and when. You should always talk to your healthcare provider about that. There are very rare instances where someone cannot get the flu shot, but it is recommended for all adults and children to get the flu shot as soon as possible. All right, Dr. Caitlin Anderson, great to talk to you. Thanks so much. We're heading into uh, what's going to be a very busy season for doctors and frontline workers like yourself. We wish you the best as well. Thank you. Thanks for having me.